Hi, boys and girls, trailblazers. Welcome to another session of reading with Dr. Cool. The title of the book today is Super Manny Stands Up, and it has a theme behind it, and I want you to listen very carefully to the story and see if you can figure out what the theme is behind this or what the moral of the story is. It was written by Kelly DiPriccio, and it was illustrated by Stephanie Griggin. Super Manny stands up. Every day, Manny put on a different cape after school. This one's blue. When he wore his blue cape, he saved the world from an ocean of unsavory sea creatures. I am fearless. In his red cape, Manny battled an angry army of zombie bears. Roar, I am strong. He soared through the skies in his yellow cape. I am brave. and he single-handedly brought down the evil cloud monsters. When legions of alien robots with laser beam eyes invaded, Manny tirelessly fought them off in his purple cape. I am powerful. A green cape usually meant Manny was taking on the forest giants, defeating them one at a time. I am invincible. Traveling to the far reaches of the galaxy to fight crime and injustice wasn't enough, but that's what superheroes do. I am Super Manny. Manny always saved his top secret undercover cape for school. The invisible cape. With it, he battled mutant monkeys. He stopped fiery comets heading straight for Earth. He faced down giant squids with long tentacles and red eyes. Said move. Manny looked past his lunch to see where the voice was coming from. I said move. Tall one was towering over small one and laughing. <laughs> move little weirdo, he said. Small ones seem to get even smaller. Manny watched as Tall One continued his laughing and teasing. He felt frozen, glued to his seat. So he said nothing. He did nothing. Until he remembered his invisible cape. Manny stood up. And then he did the bravest, most courageous, kindest thing he ever could have done. He said, stop it. Tall one moved in closer. What did you say? Manny saw a storm of evil clouds swirling around tall one's head but he has stared into the eyes of zombie bears, unsavory sea creatures, and forest giants before, so he didn't back down. He reminded himself, I am fearless, I am strong, I am brave, I am powerful, I am invincible. I said, stop it, he repeated, a little louder this time, you're being mean. At that moment, 
everyone around him remembered they too were heroes with their own invisible capes. Stop it. Cut it out. Hey, stop it. Don't do that. Quit it. Stop it. Stop it. That's not nice. Stop it. Yeah, stop it. The tall one scowled. And then, just like the legions of alien robots and laser beam eyes, he retreated. Small one was very grateful for the backup. Manny was grateful too. Because every superhero needs a sidekick. The end. So boys and girls, think about the moral of this story. As you notice, Manny stood up. He didn't let the tall one just take advantage of the small one. And when he stood up, Everybody else found their voice too, and they stood up as well. So remember, you're courageous. You are powerful. You are invincible. You just need to stand up, just like Manny did. Thank you, boys and girls. Have a great day.